This is a short video that explains Hariba's patented method of gas measurements, which is called cross-flow modulation. This is a conventional NDIR method. Basically, it has two light sources, a sample cell and a reference cell with two detectors. The two detectors read differences of absorption of light between reference cell and sample cell. The weak point for this method is dirty sample gas continuously introduced into sample cell, causing drift and requires optical adjustment. Also, the balance of light source power and sensitivity of the detectors is crucial for the accurate measurement. A method was developed to overcome the issues of problems associated with light detection and sensitivity. The improvements included one light source, one detector, two cells. This technique splits the light beam. Unfortunately, the issue of dirty sample gas entering the sample cell still exists and optical adjustments are still required. Also, the light needs to be split equally in half. In doing so, vibration can cause problematic measurements that must be adjusted by a skilled technician. Hariba patent cross-flow modulation uses one light source, one cell, and one detector. A solenoid valve selects alternate sample flow and reference gas flow every half second. This results in the flow path shown like this. Reference gas, sample gas, reference gas. The detector reads reference gas as zero and then reads sample gas as span. Even if a dirty cell exists, causing drift, the detector reads it as zero, hence drift is cancelled. This is why Hariba's cross-flow equipped analyzer has zero drift. Therefore, no optical adjustment is required. Also, the reference gas can be dry ambient air. Each half second, air purges the sample cell to eliminate accumulation of dirt. As a result, this provides longer life cycle, durability, and stable measurements. Contamination is not a problem. Flow rate in sample line is normally 10 cc per second. Volume of the sample cell is 2.649 cc. The flow rate through an ENDA is sufficient to exchange the gas in cell without contamination. The mean time between failures for the solenoid is more than 100 million sequences. The recommended replacement frequency of the solenoid is about 3 to 4 years. Thank you for watching this video. We will keep updating the videos. See you next time.